Hello, a very good afternoon to all the viewers of Body Mind Soul Live Talk number 33. So now we have finally hit our episode 33, 33. And today we will be having healing through Cha Tao, the way of tea together with our guest speaker, Li Ying, the founder of When Seal Water Speak. But before that, let me just get everyone to warm up. Welcome to you to our regular weekly Body Mind Soul Live Talk show. All right. So if you are watching it from Body Mind Soul Magazine page, a very good welcome to you. And if you are watching it from Body Mind Soul Festival page, make sure that you are on these two pages. Uh, because if you have any comments that you wish to, you know, have a chat with me in the beautiful afternoon, you know, this past few days has been raining nonstop. Such a beautiful day, not doing anything, right? I hope you are on your break. Unlike some of us who are still working, right? If you are on your break, share with me what have you been doing? Are you having more? More time to spend with your family and how has your Saturday been so far all right so share with me share your love don't be a stranger that's always the case that I said with everyone and you know what Christina love to engage with all of you so show me your love all right as usual if you send me any hardship I will send it back to you all right okay so uh yeah so I have a few hello over here let me just gather more and then once I'll push it out so today uh like I said we will have a very interesting topic it's about cha tao all right so cha tao in English or cha tao. I have quite a few new faces. I have Lao. Hello, Christina. Hello, Melissa Tang. Hi, Christina. Hi, Melissa. How are you? Hey, I think we are having the same last name. So nice to meet the Tang family or Tang family. But anyway, the Mandarin Mandarin last name is Tang, right? I hope yours is it is. Is it Melissa? Can you type in and show me? Because I can't type. Hi, Brian. Hello, long time no see. How are you? How have you been? Uh, you know, sometimes the special emoji and emoticons, I can't see it. I can't see it with this software that we are using. So uh, only the normal text emoji, it will be able to flash it out. Very good afternoon to all of you. And uh, I think we are more or less ready. So let me know if you read it. Okay, before I bring out the guest, it's very important. This is very important. Yeah, so during the session later, um, Li Ying will show us, you know, um, the way of tea, right? It's very interesting the way she, oh, for her, oh, sorry, I'll just come back to you, Melissa. So um, the way she, she prepared the tea, the way she served the tea, and the way she will guide us to drink the tea and with lots of respect and honoring. So if you are going to stay throughout, you know, the whole session, okay, make sure that you prep yourself either a cup or a bowl and a pot of hot water next to you and with some tea, either tea bags or tea leaf so that you can go through the session together with her because I promise you, uh, we will have a session and I've seen how Li Ying uh, done it because it, it's on her IG, on her Instagram, on her Facebook. It's very, very interesting for me. I've always fascinated with uh, the, the Japanese tea serving. You know, it was through her that I understand this is such an ancient practice that Chinese, I'm a Chinese, right? I don't really know much, but it is such an ancient practice that Chinese does does that like do that long time back also i have quite a lot of hello over here melissa mine is chen Ayah, never mind <laughs> i have my good friend sui hi from eldred hello uh brian i'm good having tea now okay so brian later you will share with me how is it before and after so what is your feeling when you're having tea at the moment and your feeling after leeing guided us okay I have Ellen over here. Hello. Hi, Ellen. Yes, I know. I know you sent me an email. I was away for tra training. I'll come back to you next week. All right, Ellen, thank you so much. And thanks for joining us. You know what? Without further ado, I believe everyone is very much ready and also want to know more about the topic today, you know, healing through Cha Tao, the way of tea. Uh, let's warm up our palms. Yeah, even though as usual, we are a screen away. But warm up your palms, hype ourselves up, you know, make ourselves focus so that we can get the 
best out of today live talk as well clap together with me while i welcome our guest today she's ready at the back Li Ying, founder mm -hmm. of when still waters speak hello Li Ying. hello hello my love how are you <laughs> i'm good i'm very excited you can see pump i know <laughs> Yes. So, Ling, just now, you know, when I was, um, I was, I was prepping myself, um, it just hit me, you know, why did you labor uh, your academy or, or your website when the still waters speak? <laughs> oh, wow. Um, well, it goes back a little bit to my own story, because uh, when I first uh, sought out for my next awakening, uh, tea found me and it was in that bowl of tea that a voice spoke to me that I need to serve. So in that sense, when still water speak, it spoke to me. So I thought it would be a beautiful way to put that. And water in, you know, in Cha Dao, in the Dao, and also in TCM, in traditional Chinese medicine, is such a big thing. And even in, you know, when we study energy, water is a flowing energy. It's the weakest, mm. but also the strongest. So I thought water is the perfect thing for me. So when still water speak, it's, uh, it illuminates your heart. So that's really it. That's the inspiration. <laughs> wow. Yeah, because just now I was like, hey, why she will name her academy or her website why and when still water speak? I'm sure there must be a story. Okay, so uh Ling, I have Brian over here saying I've been drinking for 10, 10 wow. and more 10 years plus. Okay, okay. So Brian, let's share with us. You know, you know tea so well. Let's see, is there anything that will uh trigger you or, or make you feel different? All right. Yeah. So any of you for all the viewers out there, if any of you have any questions for Liying, you know, welcome to type it out along yes. the way when Liying is sharing. Uh, okay, I have Lao over here. Oh, How thank you. Yeah. Look forward to learn from you. Yes, I'm also very looking forward. I just want to show everyone. I prepare my bowl. Beautiful. I, I love it. <laughs> and I prepare my hot water. <laughs> so, so I'm proud. just looking forward, I'm looking forward to the session later. Uh, wow. I have also here Melissa Hailing here to support her always. Wow! Thank you, Melissa. Yes. For and for all of you who is watching, there's a share button on the clip. If you wish, Liying's message uh, could reach out to more. Share this video out because uh, we are here to talk about how uh, Cha Tao can heal us. Yeah. And I have Shiwe. Me too. Can't wait. Okay, Shiwe, wow. make sure you get yourself a bowl. Okay. All right. So, Lin, maybe you share with us a little bit um, how you've come across Cha Tao. Okay. Well, so um, I kind of touched on that a little bit just now when you asked me why I named my, um, well, we don't call it a business, but basically, you know, why I call it this beautiful entity uh, when still waters speak, or maybe my alternative identity, I would say. Um, I was really very much, uh, so I, I was, um, for 10 years, I was actually uh, anorexic, basically. I was severely underweight and I always self-flagellated myself. I never understood. Uh, I, I always constantly was striving to have that perfect body, but uh, was very low in self-esteem. Um, so it, when eventually I dropped down to a very, very low weight to the point where I had to be fed uh, IV drips and whole wow. jabs and all of that, I was admitted to uh, to a little, you know, a nutritionist to see her. Um, I just didn't understand. I couldn't connect, you know. Um, I, I was still not healing because I just felt that it, life can't just be about eating, 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 and then that's it, right? There must be something deeper than this. So that kind of set me off on a very long journey for 10 years uh, to the point about maybe, say, I think four years ago when I finally felt that I was ready to fully recover and no more tricks, no more over-exercising, no more dieting, um, I began to understand that our beings are so much more than just our minds, you know, our minds are great. Our ego is not a bad thing. I want to say this first and foremost, because our ego is the reason why we have evolution. That's why we have such a modernized world. However, when we are trapped in our ego, that's when the trouble begins because we believe that we're the ego and the ego is always there to protect us. That's why we have fear. That's why we have anger. That's why we have frustration. So I was looking into all of these things and then I started meditating. I started to get into yoga. And it was amazing. I had my first Kundalini awakening as well through that.
But I realized something. I realized that even though I was meditating every day, I still, you know, I was living in Hong Kong. So maybe that's why um, the minute I stepped out I was like, oh, I was again overwhelmed, right? Mm. So I, I just literally sent out a message to the universe. I said, you know what, give me something. You know, I'm not particularly happy at, you know, my work and I just want to change. And that was when I got an invitation to a tea ceremony in Hong Kong. And uh, the minute I sat down, I went into this beautiful tea space. Everyone was silent. We just had tea. And I remember taking the first bowl and that was it. Like I heard this distinct voice telling me that I need to serve. And then, um, and the funny thing is, Christina, I, I have to say is that it took me one month to finally take that bold step to say, okay, I'm going to learn this. I was terrified because I was like, what is this? And people would just be like, it's just drinking tea. <laughs> you mean you're going to study how to serve people tea? And you know, like Chinese, it's like serving tea means like in the Chinese restaurant and you serve <laughs> or like wedding tea ceremony where you're the Dai Kam Tse and you yeah, yeah. tea, you know? Yes. So this is totally different. You know, it's absolutely different. And, um, and I just, after a month, I was like, okay, I'm going to learn everything I can learn. And from there on, my entire life just really changed, really. And now I'm here serving uh, probably a year in now. So that's amazing. That's amazing stuff. So, that yeah, is so, so beautiful. I mean, to, to understand that your, and, um, you know, your eating disorder has gone until the extreme and how mm. you find yourself back and, you know, and you found a way that, that resonate with you. And of course, you have tried different methods and you finally found that, hey, this is something that I really want to serve and I really want to continue and I really want to share with the, the world. And that's why, you know, when we found mm -hmm. Lee, um, through our very dear friend, Sevi Ho, who yes. had conducted a sound bath two, three weeks ago on med, uh, on a Body, Mind, Soul Live Talk. And it was true that Live Talk, you know, we were just asking Sevi, hey, we want something different you know something something different that 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 we can also spark light together um mm -hmm. and to inspire hope more you know because body mind so always um aims to impact life positively there must be a lot of ways you know beside talking um beside meditation beside yoga there must be other methods that can still impact life positively and i'm happy to have you lean i have trisha mm -hmm. over here saying interesting so oh, yeah so, trisha make sure you prep yourself a bowl empty bowl hot water and tea yeah so this is what i'm going to repeat all the time until we have the session later <laughs> so thank so, you what is the um what exactly it is when we talk about Cha Tao to me, all right, to me, I only uh, understand from watching video um, mm. that is from the Japanese style. And I realized that um, it, it's a very sacred ceremony. The, that was the documentary I saw. That was the first time I, uh, I come across or I came across Cha Tao. Uh, I forgot what is it called in Japanese, yeah? Cha no you. Uh, channel you yes so i found it so sacred because and it's mm. so into the present moment from they scoop out the powder i remember it was powder and then they have to i do not know matcha. what it's called. yeah, yeah the matcha it. right and when they serve they serve with so much of respect to the person who is in front of them and it was everything is in total silence for a person mm. like me hyperactive all the time there's no way i can watch a video that is no talking <laughs> for so long and i and i and i observe myself hey i did i did finish watching the entire thing because i'm curious what is next what is right. next and, and the person who received the tea they they somehow also have a way to receive to say thank you to the person to that serve and then they drink it with with a lot of gratitude, that was how I felt. Yes. Yeah. So can I ask you, what's the difference be between that and Cha Tao? Right. Um, before I start, I just see that Brian says that he is my daily ritual as well. So that's amazing. Brian, can you tell us what you're having right now? I'm curious. <laughs> nice. But, um, nice. nice. For, for this, I, I thank you so much for bringing that up because um, so to start off, you know, for my ceremony, uh, my lineage is definitely Chinese. I wouldn't say that it is um, uh, Japanese. However, uh, when I explain this, you will understand that actually everything is inter interconnected. And this is a very Zen lineage as well. So there are some elements of the Japanese uh, tea ceremony in it too. 
But uh, to begin with, uh, I would just love, love, love to honor you and everyone else who's here as well with this Japanese Zen saying, which is Ichigo Ichie. And in English, it means one chance, one encounter. That is really, it goes back to the essence of what you said when you watch the documentary. You know, we are here learning to, to, to give and to receive. And you'll be surprised, you know, people actually find it really hard to receive. You know, we, yeah. we always receive with a very suspicious heart. Or so when we give, we, from me? sorry? It's like when you receive, it's like, are you going to ask me for something? Exactly. That's why you're giving me. <laughs> exactly. So um, even giving, right? Especially when we're talking about the COVID times, it's like, why? I don't think I have enough. I don't know whether I can give. So this is a beautiful practice because it just really allows us to understand that life is just here right now there is no future no no past right now is all there is that's why we always start with the saying or at least i do with the saying ichigo ichie because this right now here while we are sharing tea is the first and the last time we'll share tea like this how are you going to make the best of it you know what it really means is that it doesn't mean that i won't see you next time again okay it just means that we are here right now because you're, you're here with a certain experience, certain feeling, certain look, maybe certain hair, certain cells in your body, but they are constantly changing, right? Just as the universe is constantly changing. And this tea stage is for today. The next time you come, the stage will be different. And the tea mm. I serve today, it could be the same next time, but you might taste it differently because you are bringing with you a different experience. So that's how we come to this space where we really appreciate this moment because you are a gift, you know, crossing paths with you is a gift. You know, there are 1 billion or perhaps billions, trillions of people out there, but we are here. So that makes things really precious. So um, when you said, um, you know, gratitude, gratitude is definitely a very, very beautiful feeling for us to first to, to move into our hearts because a lot of times these days we are really stuck here, really. So we want to drop from the head to the heart. So what that means is that we are really switching off when we come to space. And I, I, I literally tell my guests all the time, just surrender the impulse to do, just surrender. And if you find it really hard, just keep drinking, keep drinking the tea, just focus on the tea. And then slowly, gradually, perhaps if you're joining me in a one hour session, probably on the third, third bowl, you will start to feel it all. It's like you will see this, the faces of this guest, like just transformed and it's beautiful. So energetically, we're connecting with each other as well. So yeah, you mentioned the Japanese. So what, what really um, this practice is, is actually an ancient practice that is uh, began, or well, it really started back in the days in China. And tea actually, uh, China is the motherland of, of tea, basically. The tea trees there were the beginning of all tea stories. And um, ancient shamans, they used to carry these tea leaves in their medicine the pouches to commune with the spirit within and without, you know. If you think about it, medicine in those days is just like meditation. It's not something that just bandages your wound. It really goes deep into understanding, okay, how do I heal this person spiritually and also physically? So that is one of the, the first beginning of tea of, uh, that we're connecting back to. And then gradually the Taoist sages like Lao Tzu, you know, they discovered that tea can be very interesting. They even wrote books about tea, how to make tea, how to find the best water, how to get charcoal to make the best fire. So that was an inspiration. And they also wrote Tao Te Ching, which is about the Tao, which is what is the other half of Cha Dao because you can drink tea. You can drink tea like Brian for 10 years, but uh, it doesn't mean that you are drinking tea in a Cha Dao way, you know? And there's nothing wrong with that, definitely. Mm. But mm. we need to make it a very clear thing that, you know, tea is very human. Tea has been with us for so long and she loves us, you know? Tea loves us so much that she will transform herself into many different forms. She can be your beverage when you're stuck in the office. You can just drink that from a cup. She can be uh, one of your ocha matcha, you know? She can be mixed mm. with milk and bubble tea. You know, she can be so many different forms for you as a human being. But here, back here, right here, we are only honoring her as her true essence. And so we are making her in the best way that she can shine. 
And that is the essence of Cha Dao. We don't, we don't profess to master it, but we try our best from the heart to prepare her so that she can be her best. That's it. So that is the reverence that we bring here. And then finally, you mentioned the Japanese, that is the Zen monks. So the Zen, Zen ah. actually started in China and it was used to known as Chan. Um, and then the yeah. monks from Japan came to China to study and they took back some tea leaves and tea seeds and then they started to plant it around the temples. And then that is how they started to prepare tea and then they started to serve tea in a ceremonial way. And then Rikyo, all the big people like Rikyo, Bai Sao, all these beautiful, amazing poets and tea masters transformed tea ceremony. And this is what you would know as uh, wabi sabi perhaps you have heard of it like just the idea of imperfectly perfect beauty or perfectly imperfect beauty because like what you see here i don't know if you can see it's just like petals everywhere some people would think it's very messy but some people would see it as simplicity in this beauty so um yeah it's a it's a very interesting you know i can go on and on about this but i do teach this in my courses as well um but that's the essence of the yeah i mean practice yeah itself. Yeah. Yes, yes. It's, it's, it's important to share it with our guests, I mean, <laughs> all, all our viewers who are now watching, so that at least people like me, who know nothing, but has always been wondering, finding it very fascinating, at least today we are here to understand a little bit more of the history and, and mm -hmm. also how it came across, you know. But, you know, one thing, Ying, you mentioned, it, it, uh, I, I start to think as well, because I went to Peru, and definitely Peru um, shamans, shamans are there. They are still using tea leaves as an offering back to the Mother Earth. Mm. Mother Earth. Yeah, yeah, the practice is still there. Like what you say, you know, they uh, always carry tea leaves with them. Then mm -hmm. when you say that, it reminds me, yeah, the shamans that I met in Peru, I mean, because in Peru, shamans can be their, their doctors as well, right? Because mm. uh, the culture is still there. So I was like, hey, yeah, it's, it's in their pouch. It really does, in, it's in their pouch. So that, that's something that is very interesting for me to reflect on as well. Um, yeah. Ling, how, does, how can Cha Tao heal us in a way? Mm. Uh, going it's... through the session, maybe you have some stories that you can share with us. Sure. Um, so I think, you know, we can talk about the shamans and the Taoist sages and Zen monks all day. But I think the most important thing for us to relate back to Cha Dao and the tea ceremony is like, why do you want to come to a tea ceremony? It's really because um, we need to find stillness. We, we it's, it's as simple as that for us to understand is that, you know, I always say to my guests, you know, if you act from a heart center of stillness, all your actions will be so much more meaningful because when you act from here that is still, it's just like a clock, right? Where the heart is always still and the, 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 the arrows are always turning um, and they are pointing at a precise position. You know, when we are still, our actions mean so much more and we can act from a place of kindness, compassion. And I can't even begin to tell you how much transformation I've seen uh, in my guests who come back every week just to tell me, you know, I feel like I can surrender. Like I don't have to control every single thing in my life. I can mm. just surrender and I can allow that feeling of surrendering because I no longer fear, because I know there is a a container that can carry me that i feel protected and it's so true because i think you know that's what i do when i take people through a ceremony is that you know you when you come in you're curious and you you have fear or doubts and everything but when you come out you're just like oh wow actually that didn't really matter that much after all you know and that is the feeling we're seeking and then of course secondly like you mentioned gratitude gratitude mm. of little little things is what um chada really brings to you and this this really brings back to the fact that you know i i get so many people telling me christina like this is just drinking tea right like it's literally just <laughs> drinking tea and i say yeah exactly it is just drinking tea and the whole idea of chada is to bridge the heaven and earth you know it's a two-way thing we if you can find heaven in earth you will also find earth in heaven and what that really means is that you're bringing sacred moments into the mundane everyday life and then the mm -hmm. mundane everyday life can live in your sacred moments as well so let's say you're washing your dishes or taking out the trash you hate it right 
trust me, do this with me every week. If you want at home, do it yourself. Set a, a, a site, maybe 30 minutes, sit in silence, drink tea, three bowls. That's enough. I don't even ask for more. And then come out and feel how that ripples out to your life. You know, it really is astounding. You know, suddenly I feel like this, like even driving my car, I'm, I'm sure all of us will relate like, oh my God, like the jam. Oh my gosh. But like now coming back here this time around, I'm just like, I love my car. I am mm -hmm. honestly, I'm so amazed about how my car is taking me from one place to another. I used to think like my car is a lousy, shitty car, like, sorry for swearing, but like really, really bad, small little car. But I'm just like amazed at how amazing my car is. And I love my car. You know, it's just that little, little thing that just transforms you. It doesn't have to be a huge revelation, but that mm -hmm. little bit of gratitude can really bring you to so many, you know, different possibilities. So I think that really also, good. yeah, I think that also is a very good reminder for all of us. A lot of us think that change, it has to be something big. Transformation, it has to be something mm -hmm. huge. Only then it is considered an achievement, right? Mm -hmm. But now here yeah. you are sharing with us and reminding us small little steps of change, small little steps of transformation counts as well. And that's Absolutely. where the gratitude play a very important role. Uh, uh, Ling, I have some uh, comments over here. Uh, Melissa, I'm drinking lavender tea. Brian, uh, you ever share with us what tea are you drinking? I yeah. have uh, Dean Rosin. Love the conversation, ladies. Yes, uh, such a great reminder. Acting from stillness, we all need more of that hardship. Absolutely. Thank you. <laughs> Melissa. Absolutely. Gratitude can definitely lead to more happiness. Yes, absolutely. So, I understand. Oh, I have also Ellen over here. Hello. What people not suit to drink tea? If cannot drink, can replace with other drinks. Oh, I think Ellen is trying to say if a person can't drink tea, can it replace it with other drinks? Oh, Please? absolutely. Um, I usually tell my guests because of the fact that I am now offering this online. Um, firstly, you can always drink just hot water with me. It's totally fine. But make sure it's hot because you want to move the chi in your body. That is the most important thing because tea is the uh, catalyst for the chi to get it started and moving your body so that you can feel your body and your spirit and your soul. So that's all meshed in the ceremony. Um, but uh, I think, uh, Christina, I think I, I touched on this very, very briefly is that when I really sit with you for a ceremony in person or if you come to my course, uh, on my circle, I will actually send you um, my tea kit, which is called uh, what we will call living tea because they're not certified organic, but they're pretty much organically grown um, and they are grown in a biodiverse environment, chemical free and fertilizer free because these are the things that really creates problems for human bodies, not mm. the tea. I want to emphasize this because we are honoring tea and tea will honor us back. But if we have grown them in a place that is all, you know, created to make them uniform, created out of chemicals and fertilizers so that they will grow fast and then the soil just dies after two or three years, then we're not honoring her. And in that sense, it also creates problems for our bodies. So really mm. question your tea vendors where they are from. That is a very important thing. But if you don't have any tea and or you can't drink tea, you can certainly join us with hot water. That's totally fine. <laughs> yes, please prepare because we are going to have the session very soon. Yeah. Yes. Let me just go to one more comment. Mepo Kwan, totally agree. In space <sighs> of stillness, somehow we operate with so much gratitude and peace eventually leads to joy that we seek for. Yes. Absolutely. Okay. So I want to get uh, Lin to prep herself a little bit because Lin will be guiding us through, I think, roughly about 10 minutes. 10 minute session, right? Okay. Yes. So, Ling, I'll put you at the back so that you can prep yourself a little bit. Okay. All right. Uh, and for all the audience who are now watching together with me, welcome to Body Wine Soul Live Talk number 33. And we are very happy to have Ling, you know, the tea um, facilitator, that, the Tata facilitator that will be sharing with us the entire, at least a little bit of the gleam so that I myself, together with all of you, can experience it. And now is your time to make sure that you have a bowl or if you are already having a tea, make sure it's with you and hot water. I'm going to prepare mine while leaning. Let me just see whether she's ready. I think she's more or less. Yeah, she's ready. So get ready, everyone. Um, if you can, that's always what I share. Be involved. 
uh, yeah, join us together so that you get the most out of it. Okay, so I will just pass the stage to Li Ying. All right, everyone. Thank you so much for joining me today for tea. First and foremost, I just want you to get comfortable sitting in a lotus position wherever you are. And when you're ready, just close your eyes. Take a deep breath in. And when you're ready, a deep breath out of your mouth, making wave-like sounds. Take another deep breath in. Another deep breath out of your mouth, wave like sound. Begin to see yourself turning into an ancient tree, a tree that has roots that go deep into the soil. Roots that reach deeper and deeper into the center of the earth and tree branches that reach into the clouds. At night, you reach for the stars. And remember now that all your leaves, these tea leaves, they encapsulate the raindrops, the snowdrops, the moonlight, the sunlight, and the starlight. And they are all going into you Tea becomes you, and you become tea. Empty your mind, empty yourself completely. Continue to drop into awareness seeing yourself now turning into a speck of light, glimmering in the night sky. That's all you are, no identity, no name, no social status. You are no thingness. When you're ready, just open up your eyes and take a good look at your tea leaves. Set your intention, set your intention to sit in silence. You may speak with the, the leaves if you want to, if not, it's totally fine. I shall begin.
Thank you so much for sharing tea with me today. I would like you to just close your eyes, place your hands in prayer position right upon your heart center and see yourself before you with your eyes closed. And I want you to just bow down to yourself, thanking yourself for making time and space for meditation, poetry, presence and connection today. May we all feel all of our energies connected with each other. May we all feel our connection with our ancestors who drank tea before us and all of those who will drink tea after us. We are all connected, never separate. Thank you. As with uh, all tea spaces, if you'd like to share, this is a non-judgmental space, so please feel free to share your reflections or any questions you may have. So, thank you. So, Ming, it was such a beautiful, while waiting for the audience to share, maybe I can just share my own yes, experience. Um, thank you, Ying. Thank you, thank you very much. Uh, for me, I, I, I prepared myself the regular pu'a uh, that I always drink at home. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Um, but today, it, it's the first time I realized the pu'a uh, actually has sweetness in it. You know, um, I believe for me, the very first Cha Tao experience uh, in my life is to show me present moment mm-hmm. and um, to taste everything uh, detail with more consciousness and awareness and um it also definitely you know towards the end when you ask us to bow towards ourselves 
bow to ourselves, and that grief give me gave me so much of gratitude towards self, yeah. um, honoring myself, and I've never observed tea leaf. I always just put pan, hot water, shh, you know. But just now you ask us, you know, look at the tea leaves. I'm like, hey, yeah, this is the first time I look at how <laughs> tea leaves before water, you know, before hot water pours into it. That it's really my first time, and mm -hmm. and I really want to thank you so much that it made me realize that. Um, how small little act that we do with stillness, which you have just mm -hmm. shown us, in silent, um, it gives us so much of uh, awareness. It brings so much of awareness and, and living at the current moment because you mm -hmm. are so focused into it. And uh, even when I was, it's my first time drinking tea from a bowl. So I was... You know, like the tea will have some sort of little, uh, I wouldn't call, I, I don't know what you call Sediment. that. Yeah. So it pours out. It's almost like showing me a Christmas tree. Yes. Yes. You know? Yeah. Yeah. Like, yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. so it's quite fun for me. And <laughs> yeah, thank you very much. So for all the audience, you know, share with us how you feel if you have followed leading throughout, which I did. I try my best as much as I can. So I just copy, oh, she's starting to drink her tea and she served the tea already. Oh. Maybe this is my drink, you know. So, yeah. So how about the rest of you? If you have any feelings or any emotions or, or any questions that you wish to ask Ling, this will be the best time while we are having her on, on, on stage and live together with us uh, because we will be ending very, very soon. Yeah, it's another 10, 15 minutes. I have Janine over here. Uh, sorry, Janine over here. Love your sharing so nice. This was before the session. She sent mm -hmm. it. Lily over here. Wow, feeling peacefulness, watching the process. Oh, lovely. That's yeah. great. Melissa, a cup of tea is indeed a cup of peace. Wow, Melissa. Thank you very much. How about really? anyone of you? Yeah, it really made me, um, it touched my heart, mm. that entire session. Watching how you do, how you, how you do things so gracefully. <laughs> you <know? laughs> Thank you. Uh, well, gracefully. Yeah, I mean... It's like you're dancing with the pots and the bowls and the teas and the hot water. <laughs> that, that was the first thing I got. I said, like, hey, she's dancing. You know? <laughs> yeah, so it's, it's a very pleasant, um, again, fascinating moment. Um, it right. made me feel so oh. much of gratitude. Yeah. Vivian, oh, you. you are so graceful, leading heart shape. Pyong. Thank you. <laughs> um, I think it's uh, a beautiful Lau, practice. Yeah. yeah. Oh, Lau, I feel stillness, paying attention into every small little action, make the mm. difference. Yeah, exactly. That's how I felt too. Um, Absolutely. Yeah. And, and anyone else, you know, how about uh, Brian, if you are still here? Alan, how about you drinking <laughs> hot water? If you are drinking <laughs> hot water, how does it, does it make a difference? Yeah, because water do have their own sweetness as well. Right? Absolutely. Yeah, that's yeah. why uh, for a tea, um, you know, facilitator, you you search for good water to make that cup yes. of tea. That's I was just that. about to say that. <laughs> <laughs> yes. oh, really? Water is so important. You know, it's like they always say you can make a bad. Well, sorry, you can make a great tea bad if you have really bad water. Um, so water is always a very, very important element. We call water the mother of tea, to be honest. So it's, um, yeah, water is just beautiful, you know, in so many sense. Um, and I, I hope people can feel it anyway, because it's uh, just 30 minutes, well, not even 30 minutes, like 10 minutes of what I usually do. So usually I can go pretty deep in when it's an hour. So um, hopefully some of you will be able to feel that one. Um, so I, I, yeah, Christina, thank you for giving me this space because I, I felt that, you know, um, what you described was just incredible because that's what you, you, you actually notice is a meditation in motion. Yes. It's for people, especially that find meditation very difficult. Um, it's a beautiful way to just get grab into like that, that sense of like, whew, you get mm. into the bowl and the entire universe is in the bowl. Um, and in the ancient times, this bowl actually, they, they were so poor, they only had one bowl. So everyone had to drink from one side and one side. So I, I when I turn, it's like your side. And when I turn, it's another person's side. And I turn, it's another ah. person's side. That's why when I serve, I serve like this. And then I, I serve it like this. So I serve it from my heart as well. 
you know, like this. Yeah. So everything comes from the heart and it's a yes. circle. Oops, sorry. It's a circle, you know, yes. that we keep weaving this mandala of love that we are connecting each other with and also connecting with our hearts and also the cosmos, the nature. So the Tao is really nature, you know, it's how we flow in harmony with nature. So whenever we go against nature, that's when we feel frustration and something that is not our true nature, like they say. Um, and then it's good to have something like Cha Dao to come back and come yeah, back. Yeah. That's how it is. Yeah. Nice. Oh. I have some more comments. Yeah. Uh, Amy <laughs> felt so peaceful. Lao, I feel it's our state of emotions makes the tea taste differently when we yes. drink it as uh, it is only reflecting our state, if I yes. may say that, right? Mm -hmm. Is that correct? Correct. So that's why I always say at the beginning, Ichigo Ichie, this is the first and the last time we'll have tea like this. Because like, you know, like Lao says, um, you come here and you drink like this and today you're feeling maybe you got you broke up with your boyfriend and you feel that way about this tea next time you come back you you had a promotion at work you drink the tea again it's a different feeling you know mm. so it's uh it's always good to have a beginner's mind like in zen they say no mind what that means doesn't mean that you just don't think it means that you come without any expectations you come being a student you come with humility always question is that so? Or, you know, when your ego is popping up, always ask, is that so? You know, so it's a, it's a beautiful practice to always be an internal student in life. I think and that's that, another... Um, yeah, comment. and that is how life is all about, isn't it? That yeah. always, constantly, there's, there, whatever that happened in this moment, the next moment, you can't repeat it anymore. It's, it's really like what you just shared with us, the tea that you drink today. And tomorrow, even though it's the same person serving the same tea, sir, uh, the same tea leaves, it will give you different tastes. That's that's. I keep thinking it's just how life is. Okay, let me just exactly. pull out some comment. Bei uh, Pokwan, I feel oh, so yeah. much self honoring in the whole session. I like how you shower everything from the tea to the pot and bowl with so much love. Yeah, especially <laughs> you know every time you put it near to your heart, and then you are so focused, you know, showering your love and your light into that bowl, and then before mm -hmm. you serve it as well, and, and your smile when you serve it. <laughs> I must say, it's like. Yeah, I must drink now. <laughs> <laughs> um, to be honest, I, I I I'm so glad you felt it. Thank you because when I when I do that, um, I really wanted you all to uh, to allow and to receive. And when mm -hmm. I, I do this, it's really just praying and speaking to the leaves, and then I send it out to you all. So it's great that you felt it. Thank you. <laughs> yes, Is it yes. Mabel? Yeah. Mabel. <laughs> Yeah, we have Lao, Pyong Pyong Pyong, and Melissa. Is it recommended to stick with one tea or is it okay to keep changing each time we drink during a tea ceremony? Um, you don't, there is no strict rules about this, but um, as with what I would tell my students, every time we are actually learning about Cha Dao is that we want to understand the language of the tea. So meaning we would want to understand her by really giving our, ourselves time to keep drinking her every day um, to the point where when I give you something that is uh, perhaps from the same place but grown inorganically, you are able to taste it. So it's all about heightening your sensitivity. So I would say to answer your question very simply, no, you can always drink a different tea. Like for me, I pick my tea very instinctively. Like I just go with my intuition. Um, mm. But if you want to learn one tea in specific, like Christina said, you know, poor, like you realize there's sweetness in it. That's when you your sensitivity is heightened. So the more you drink the same tea, the more you feel more. Uh, that, that nuance in the tea. So it depends on what you're coming up with, I guess. Okay, thank you very much. We have another one. Does any different tea make difference? Can particular tea uh, heal certain emotion of us? Well, this is a very good question. Wow, that's a great question. So um, Lao, I, would, I just want to um, just preface this because I think emotion is a very, uh, a word that I would say in the, um, perhaps in the teachings of Eckhart Tolle, for example, emotion is uh, an indication of our ego. It really is. It's not something that we are feeling. What we want to do is feel. We don't want to let emotions di dictate us. However, yeah. there's nothing wrong with feeling emotions. Your emotions are indicators, just like hunger pangs are telling us that we need to eat, right? So mm -hmm. if your emotions are feeling like, okay, you feel 
frustrated or you feel angry, all of these are emotions, right? Although we say we feel these emotions, we can't say we emote, right? So it's very strange language really. But when you do feel that coming up, I would say, yes, there are different kinds of tea that can help that. Um, and that is what I do when I, I do healing sessions, really. So uh, it's uh, very hard. Maybe you can tell me what exactly you're feeling. In can, can we just pick a three, top three at this point of time? Number uh, one, frustration. Mm -hmm. Okay. <laughs> number two, <laughs> anger, which is quite common. Number three, anxiety. <laughs> All right. Oof. Okay. Let's go with frustration. Uh, frustration is really something that is because we're we're too much in our head, right? We're really getting our thoughts. Our thoughts are taking over. So we really want to switch off. So usually in that case, I would usually just say um, I would recommend some wuyi tea. Wuyi Cliff Tea, because um, Wuyi Cliff is actually a place in China that actually literally is a cliff mountain, and their tea is very uh, intricately processed, and it comes from the mountains. They literally touch the clouds, and it's a very spiritual place. So I want you to really feel that sense where you can drop all of your earthly worries, and then you just come back. And this really was like, I, I'm drinking it right now, I, I can literally felt I felt to like the second bowl. I was just already like when I came out to speak to you. I don't know what you noticed this. I was just like, it's Hi, Christina. <laughs> yeah, it's a little bit like I'm not here. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> That's why I talk more. I give you the time. You know, let me share my experience. Yeah. <laughs> well, so you know I what? Think Lee, be... What I'll do is, you know, um, you can send us, you know, like. Oh, the, yeah. the top three the top three uh, leaves or uh, tea leaves that can address this emotion. What we can do is we can share it out after the live talk because I know you have another session coming up. Unfortunately, yeah. you know, I would really <laughs> love to have you stay on with us a slightly more longer. I have a few yeah. more comments that I would like to pull it out, especially from Brian. Eye opening of Japanese cha tao. Brian, yeah. this is Chinese cha tao. It's not the Japan <laughs> way. Just just to clear this up a little bit, but Brian, thank you so much. That um, share with us how you how you feel. Uh, okay, over here, T mania. We're looking. We're looking. Anything oh, related to tea? That's like how I feel. Yeah. Wow, nice, 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 Brian. Yeah. So I, I know Ling, you need to go, but you know, <laughs> as promised to uh, all the viewers, we will get some points, some tips from Ling after mm -hmm. the session. The top three emotions, the frustration, um, the second one, what was it that I said? Anger. And yeah. the third one anxiety. was anxiety. Yeah, it's anxiety that we are looking at. All right. So stay tuned with Body Mind Soul. We will definitely post it up either tomorrow or Sunday okay? uh, or Monday. Sorry. So <laughs> one final thing that you yeah. wish to share with the audience when it comes to Cha Tao. Mm. Any any think, word or any takeaway for the audience? Yeah, I think um, I think really, you know, don't be afraid of um, non-action. You know, that's the word in Zen teaching, non-action. Sometimes we, you know, with the the lifestyle we have these days, you know, even let's say for WhatsApp messages, I'm expected to respond immediately. But actually, where is that expectation coming from? I think it's really important for us to kind of step back a little bit. And that's why Cha Dao is such a beautiful thing because it gives us that space where we can drop down and surrender. And then when you come out, it ripples out to your life because now I can just stand back and be like, wait a minute, do I really want to scold that person? Or wait, or do I do I really need to do it now? Like, you know, and your actions will be so much more meaningful. Like I get, like I said at the beginning, you know. So don't be afraid of non-action um, and uh, really learning to sit with silence. I know sometimes it can be very scary, but let me tell you, with tea, it feels so much better. It's so it's such a beautiful connection, you know. And you connect with other people as well when you drink. So yeah, that's really that's, that's very nice. That's very nice way to put it and. And it really, you know, it's really beautiful that we are connected today in this afternoon with so many people keep on typing in. I have Jia Wei over here. Hi, good afternoon. <laughs> Hi. Jia Wei, it's, it's coming to the end already. You can, watch the, <laughs> you can watch the replay later. Good afternoon to you. Welcome. Yeah. Uh, 祝你今天很, uh, 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 have a good day. But I have Brian also. How to connect with Li Ying. All right. 
we are here now to push this out. Let me get my admin. I'm about to say this. So for those of you who wish to connect with Liying more, you can search from uh, Instagram. Uh, yes. the, 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 uh, the admin will publish it on the comment where you can click right away. When underscore uh, still still waters score underscore speaks or Facebook when still waters speak. Yeah. Okay, so it's published now on either Body Mind Soul magazine page or Body Mind Soul festival page where you can click right away. I have uh, Lao. I want to have a tea moment with you already. I also too. Lao, maybe the two of us can find her yes. and have a physical one. We will yes. practice SOP. Let's yes. see how let's see how still I can see. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, I love I'm, that. Being, I'm having problem with deepen my stillness, to be honest mm -hmm. with you. I'm expanding my stillness. So it's a very, you know, just now the session was very, very beautiful that I realized, hey, I can expand it longer. My stillness hey. of nothingness can be longer. Yeah, it was a very, very good one. I have Brian over here. Thank you. I have Melissa. Thank you so much, ladies. Saturday afternoon, well spent. Yeah, oh, Melissa. You, Melissa. This is a weekly thing. So next week, we have someone that is coming up to talk about Crystal. I, I don't Ooh. know who will get this. It is a surprise for me as a host. <laughs> yeah, so my entire team is surprising me. So <laughs> I will only know when the time is coming, but we will talk about Crystal next week. Wow. And uh, Xiao Wei is saying here, okay, okay, have a nice nice day all right <laughs> you watch back is very very um uh, meaningful and i find it really helping me um also over here brian is saying next time i arrange one and invite all wow. to wow. thank you very much so lovely you know to be connected through tea yeah you know, yeah. uh, you were saying tea loves us, right? The lady exactly. of the tea loves us. So thank you, Ling. It's been oh. a very great afternoon. Thank you so much for being with us. And with that, I would like to say goodbye to all our audience. And I'll see you next Friday um, on our TGIF as well as our next Saturday, which is a crystal. Next Friday is Christmas. So any one of you have any message that you wish me to shout it out on air over here, send in the messages, send in your wishes and I will Shout it out during the Christmas uh, day on the Friday night. And I have song requested from my friends to sing live. <laughs> yes. So, Ling, you can, you are welcome to join me as well if you are free, you know. Sure. Um, <laughs> yes. With that, goodbye, everyone. Thank you. Bye-bye. Bye, everyone. Thank you.